work out uh, question uh, to work out question just need to copy that out of there all right let's get back to question three or oh, question four rather okay so five number summary what is the five number summary it's basically the minimum quarter one first quarter uh, the median the middle uh, quarter three third quarter and then the maximum okay again uh, the minimum should be straightforward it's the smallest number it's two and i think the maximum should also be straightforward it's the last number which is 10 okay uh, that's pretty straightforward all right and then the median we've already looked at this how do you calculate the median the median is the middle value uh, we looked at this when we did uh, question two the middle value is between 5 and 6, and we calculated it to be 5.5. So that's our median. So that's my advice. Always start with the minimum, and then the maximum, and then the middle before you go to the quartiles. Okay? So now, to find quartile 1, Q1, we only look at these values on the left. So the middle of those values on the left will be Q1. And the middle of the values on the right will be Q3, okay? So if we look at the values on the left, we can see that 3 is in the middle of those values, right? 3 is in the middle because you've got 2 on the left and then 2 on the right. So 3 would be your Q1, okay? For Q3, we look, at, look to the values on the right and where is the middle? 8 is the middle of those values. How? Because you've got 2 on the left, 2 on the right. So 8 is the middle of the values to the right of the median, okay? So our Q3 is 8, okay? So that's how you work out your number summary. The minimum is 2, Q1 is 3, um, Q2 or the median is 5.5 between uh, 5 and 6, Q3 is 8, and the maximum is 10, okay? So that is our five number summary, okay? Okay, go to us. Uh, let's move on to the next question, question five. Question five is asking you to calculate the interquartile range, okay? We need to calculate the interquartile range. Again, we're still using the same data. Uh, and uh, we still look at the same five number summary that we worked out in the previous question where the minimum was two uh, and Q1 was three, the median was there and the Q3 was eight and uh, the maximum is 10, okay? But to calculate the interquartile range, we are only concerned with, it's the distance from Q1 to Q3. So we're only concerned with Q1 and Q3. And the formula for calculating the interquartile range is basically Q3 or quartile 3 minus Q1 or quartile 1. Okay. So again, from the previous question, we know that Q3 is 8.